show you guys a real quick way to check and read alarms. Notice there was an alarm on this unit, even though it's not why I'm out at it, but I'm starting to back up. I notice it has an alarm. So we're gonna hit escape to where it blanks out the marquee. And then you can move this LED down to alarm. You can go down or you just go up once, get the LED to light up there, hit enter. You got three options, current alarm, reset the current alarm or the history. So current's what we want, we're gonna hit enter. It's gonna tell us it's an A051. Here's the thing, people, you know, I myself used to like try to find the manual, look it up, whatever. But here's a quick shortcut, escape enter at the same time. It's gonna scroll the explanation. So it's saying circuit A, compressor one, chattering contactor. But anyway, that's how you do it. You can also go through history. There it is, there's the date, and there's the time. 3.23, that was actually a week ago. Today's April 1st, but this is no April Fools. So, history, reset current, tap the button, password, which is just gonna be one, 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 one. Get that flashing so you can, this is tedious until you guys have done this a lot. Go to yes, hit there, go no, light turns off. Go back up to view status, which you can go in and see manually. Entering water is 52, so it's only been off for a few minutes. I just turned this off to take off a data logger. Now we'll go ahead and enable the unit. Should get the pumps to run. There goes a the pump. It's got the contactors for the pumps right there, motor starters. Had to come out and reset those. A couple weeks ago, after we had a single phase incident here at the building, got the fan started. I knew the unit was getting ready to start. Initial capacity 25%. There she blows.